What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to add the template files for our e-commerce website for Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to add our template files. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. All right, like I said, in this video, we're going to add the template files for our e-commerce website. And this is the template we're going to use. It's a totally free template. We may make this a little fancier later on, like I said back at the first video in this series. But for now, just to get this thing up and running, we're going to use this basic free template. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django e-commerce series. So check it out if you haven't so far. So the first thing we need to do before we install our template files is come to our ecom directory here and open up our settings.py file. And here at the bottom, we need to add a quick little line underneath static URL. We want static files underscore DIRS equals, and then we just want to put static. Django used to do this automatically for us when they created a project. In this version of Django, they just don't. So we need to designate where our static files are going. So go ahead and save this and we can close this. Now we need to add another directory to our project. So our main directory up here is ecom. We've got this other smaller ecom directory inside it. Come up to the top one, right click and create new folder. And then down here at the bottom of the screen, you should see this little box pop up. And we just want to call this static. And you can see, boom, it pops up right there. There's nothing in it right now, but that's where we're going to put all of our template files. These are static files and Django uses a static sort of system in order to keep track of them. So we're going to have some CSS files, maybe some images, maybe some JavaScript. It'll all go in this static directory. Now let's head over to Google and go to startbootstrap.com. And this is the website where we're going to get our template and just come down here to browse template themes and look through here. It's somewhere, there it is right here. We can click on it like that. And we just want to download this thing. So we click on this free download button over here. A little ad pops up. You can X out of that. Now you could save this anywhere you want, but we're going to be using this in our Django project. So we might as well save it there. So I'm going to come over here to my C drive and I'm going to search for ecom. That's our directory. And we've got another ecom directory. And then there's that static directory we just created. Let's put that in there. So for now, that'll work. It should download very quickly. And that's all there is to it. So this is our website so far. So now we can head back over to Sublime and we can see inside of here, there's a folder. And this is going to be a zip file and we need to unzip it. So I'm going to open a Windows Explorer and navigate back to that directory. So C, ecom, ecom, and then static. And here's that zip file we just downloaded. So double click this to go into it and then come up here to extract all. And you should get this thing here. And we want to show these files when it's done extracting. So come down here, click extract. Boom, another box pops up. And here are these files. So if we double click this, this is the stuff we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard, click on assets, and then just hit the arrow key down to highlight all these things. Or you could come down here and drag and drop your mouse, or you can hit control A on your keyboard to highlight all these things. And I'm going to come down here and hit cut. I'm going to cut these all out. So then let's navigate back to our ecom directory. And here's this static folder. I'm going to right click and paste these right in there. So that just takes a second. So we've got assets, CSS, JavaScript, and an index file. So now we want to get rid of this file that we downloaded earlier. So delete that. We also want to get rid of this directory here. So just click on this and delete it as well. Now, just to review, we're in our ecom directory. Well, we can look over here in Sublime if we want. We've got this static folder here. Inside it, there's an assets folder with a favicon. That's what that looks like. And the favicon is just the little icon that pops up on the browser tab. So if we go to Google, or if I open another browser tab, you see this little image right here, this Firefox image right up here on this tab? That's the favicon. So that's in there. In the CSS file, there's a style sheet. So that looks good. And in the JavaScript, directory, there's a JavaScript thing and there isn't actually anything in there, but okay, whatever. So we've also got this index.html file. Now this is going to be our homepage and we don't want to keep it in this directory. So we need to move this into our templates directory in our store app here. So let's head back over to this file explorer and inside of our static file, there's that index file, right click it and cut. 
and then come back here to our store directory, double click that, and then our templates directory, double click that, and then let's go ahead and paste this. Now we don't need this home page anymore, this thing that's called home, because that's this thing right here. Go ahead and delete home. And then we can come back over here, right click, and let's rename this new index page home. So we can close this now, we're done. Now if we come back over here and hit reload, this is now the home page. And you'll notice it's all messed up because we still need to do a few tweaks to this page in order to get it to work. And it looks like this because Django can't really tell where our CSS file is yet. We've installed it, but we haven't sort of designated where it is. So we need to do that real quick, super easy. So let's head back over here, let's close this guy. We can close this. Now let's come to our templates and open that home file again. And the first thing we need to do is add a static tag at the very top. So to do this, we use our curly brackets and these two percent signs, and then we just call load static. Now this will allow this page to load our static files. So, okay, that's good, save this. Now we need to come down here and find the reference to this style sheet right there. And we need to turn this into a Django static tag. So to do that, inside of these parentheses, Again, we'll create this little tag here. And we just call static. And then these are two single quotation marks. And I'm just going to copy this reference and paste it in here. This static tag tells Django, hey, look in that static directory we just created. And then look from there for this stuff, specifically the CSS directory. That's, let's see, this guy right here. And then inside of that directory, the styles.css file, which is this guy right here. So, all right, that looks good. Now, there's also a reference to a JavaScript file somewhere. Let's see. Well, we've also got this assets favicon. We could do the same thing here, I suppose. So let's do another static tag. And again, we're going to move this guy inside of these quotation marks. That's good. And like I said, there's also a JavaScript reference. I think it's at the bottom of the page. Usually your JavaScript is down there. So yeah, right here. So we'll do the same thing again with static and two single quotation marks and we'll reference that. So, okay, go ahead and save this. Now this should work, but sometimes you have to restart your server. So let's just go ahead and do that. Come back over here and hit control C to break out of here. I'm in my C ecom slash ecom directory. My virtual environment's turned on. And let's run python manage.py run server. All right, head back over here, hit reload, and boom, it now works. So we've installed the static files, all of our CSS files and the template files for this sort of uh, design thing here. We've got this little button that looks cool. It says start bootstrap up here. We've got the little favicon. And up here on the tab, it says shop homepage start bootstrap. We probably want to change those. Let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Head back over to the page, go to the top here. And here's the title and the tab bar. Let's just call this e-commerce or let's call this Django e-commerce. And we can also come down here to the nav bar brand section and we can call this anything we want. Let's call this uh, Codemy e-commerce. <laughs> All right, go ahead and save this. Now, if we head back over here and hit reload, this says Codemy e-commerce and we'll probably figure out, we'll probably come up with a better name than that. And then up here at the top, it says Django e-commerce on this tab up here next to the little favicon thing. So pretty easy to install template files in Django and it really doesn't matter what template you're using. The process is always gonna be the same. You're always going to come back over here, create a static directory in your main directory. So if we close all these things, you'll notice our store directory, this is our main app right here. It's sitting in the same level of our directory as the static folder as the original ecom folder, as this media folder that has our uploads that we talked about in the last video. You can see they're all lined up in the same way versus if you say open this, inside of here, these files are, or these folders are all sort of indented. Not so with this static directory. It's in the same directory, so that's important. And then inside of here, it's usually common to have an images, a CSS, and a JavaScript. In this particular template, they called it assets instead of images. Same deal, it has images in it. There's no rhyme or reason to this. It just depends on the particular template that you're using. Uh, but you're always gonna do the same thing. You're gonna download your template, you're gonna unzip it, you're gonna drag those files into the static directory, and then you're gonna reference them on the homepage or whatever page. 
using these Django tags right here, the static tags, which again, just say, hey, look in the static directory for whatever this is. And then to use that, you always have to have the load static tag at the top of your page. Eh, that's pretty much all there is to it and uh, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.